Successful landing sequence completed. Initiating standard post-flight protocol. Check the heat tolerance on this titanium batch. Scanning the surface now. Consistent with specs. All right, move these to assembly. reading on sector four, there's a slight deviation. Uh Confirmed, the laser shows a subsurface inconsistency right here. Laser scan shows a minor deviation at coordinate G4. Calipers confirm it's within tolerance 0 0.005. Understood. I'll log the variance. All tolerances are within spec. Confirmed. The alignment is perfect. We are clear for assembly. The overlay confirms the specs. Adjust the cradle support on the starboard side. I'm showing a slight variance here with the caliper. Connection is secure. We have green across the board. Excellent. Proceed with the next sequence. This section of the B21 panel shows a minor deviation. Agreed. The laser scan confirms the data point. Alignment check on section four. Laser guidance confirms we are within tolerance, proceeding with the rivets. Check the alignment before I apply the clamps. Looks precise. Go ahead and secure them. Starting the heat cycle now. Check the torque on line 39er. Reading at 25 inch-pounds. Verified. Move to the next harness. We have green up green on the starboard alignment. Confirming integration sequence is stable. Proceed. Check the alignment on the starboard side, beam 12. Reading confirmed. We are within the specified margin. We have perfect laser alignment on the starboard side. Acknowledged. Initiating automated clamp sequence now. Sequence is green. Resonance frequency is stable at 40 hertz. Confirmed. Adjusting actuator pressure to 50 PSI. Are the tolerances on this section confirmed? The sensor data shows a perfect match to the blueprint specifications. Excellent work. Let's move to the next stage. Bring it down another five centimeters. Steady now. Confirmed. Rails are locked in. The laser holds steady at the target point. My readout confirms the alignment. We are within the required parameters. Bring it down 20 centimeters. Reading green on the tablet. And locked. Module secure. secure. This fuel line needs adjustment before we clear it for pressure testing. Acknowledged. I'll recalibrate the alignment now. Panel is aligned. Can you check the clearance on port 7? Looks good. Proceed with the torque sequence. 
We need tighter tolerances on that airflow reading. It's impacting the fuel trim calculations. Understood. Increasing the flow rate incrementally now. Monitor the lambda valves. Diagnostics are nominal on port seven. Copy that. Securing the latch now. Reading green on the diagnostic overlay, proceed with securing sequence. Copy that. Applying torque now. Ensure the stealth protocols align here before final connection. Got it. The tolerance levels are tight on this one. The readout here suggests a minor instability in the auxiliary power. Understood. Running the diagnostic sequence again. Confirm stable parameters on my side. Sensor array holding steady at 98%. Acknowledged. Check the EW module integration. We have an anomaly on screen three. Torque is set on the upper housing. Verified. Panel alignment looks good. Proceeding with final fasteners. Ensure the radius is correct on that turn. Looks good from here. Secure the tie wrap. Roger that. Moving to the next conduit. Module secured at position four. Copy that. Initiating calibration sequence on the sensor array. We're showing a slight variance on the radar calibration here. Okay, I'm adjusting the gain control now. Let's see if that stabilizes it. Cross-reference the fusion data with the tablet diagnostics. Confirmed. The comms array is showing intermittent packet loss on channel three. Acknowledged. Running system override sequence now. Okay, bring it up another two centimeters. Confirming alignment on the starboard side. Clearances look good, proceed slowly. We're off by two millimeters on the lower bracket. Copy that. Adjusting now, the laser shows green. Torque sequence complete on position four. Scan confirms thermal shielding integrity. Data logs updated, ready for final sign-off. Temperature readings and readings confirm thermal resistance within acceptable parameters. Check the alignment on sector four. Copy that, alignment confirmed. Pressure check initiated. All systems showing green indicators on the B-21 Raider diagnostic panel. All systems are nominal. Final coating integrity is at 100%, ready for rollout. Initiate sequence 7 alpha 4 for the starboard bay. Monitor pressure on the lift. Acknowledged, pressure nominal, component secured. We need another two millimeters on the starboard actuator. The laser alignment is showing green, but the inertial dampeners are reading low. Lower five centimeters, steady. Starboard alignment is green. Solid contact, confirmed seated. Check the torque on the hydraulic fitting. Confirmed. Sensor calibration complete. Lock indicators green, pressure holding steady at nominal. Verified. Proceed with its extension cycle.
the tolerance reading on the front caliper is stable, we can proceed with the stress test. Verification complete for section four, confirming data link sync. Acknowledged. We are clear for final hydraulics inspection. All systems showing green on the synchronization sequence. Copy that. Stage three commencing. Firmware update complete. Systems check is green. Good. The avionics configuration is holding steady. See this spike right here? It correlates with the structural anomaly we detected earlier. Interesting. Let's log the deviation. Initiating full stealth verification protocol for B-21 Raider test sequence. Confirming zero radar discontinuity at wing root junction. All systems check complete on the aft section. Certification looks good. Signing off on module seven now. Landing gear clear. Roger that. Checking flap. Clear to taxi. 21. Successful landing sequence completed. Initiating standard post-flight protocol.